morning. All right, we keep on getting asked to do a bait fishing video. So with the huge tides this weekend and all the rest of it, we might as well use this weekend to go and do it because bait fishing is not that high on our agenda. So I've just flicked out now. Obviously one of your biggest things you've got to do when you're live baiting is catch your live bait. So I've just flicked out now and caught a tarpon. I'll show you the lure shortly that we're using to catch the tarpon, but it was first cast, so sort of we weren't ready to record. So that's my little float, just a piece of pandanus branch. This is me tarpon, yes it's a big live bait. Look, this is an SL12, it's a Gamakatsu SL12 hook. It's well known, uh, the hook design itself is well known for fly fishing, but it's also used by guys chasing marlin and stuff like that with light line class. It's just known for its sharpness and strength for a fine gauge hook. So I'm just going to drop him in there. I'm using a bait runner. So a bait runner basically is designed just for bait fishing. So basically what you do is you'll pull that little lever there, like that. That free spools it so the fish can run with the livey. And then when you're ready, you wind the handle like that and it clicks back into fighting gear. Or you can just manually trip it like that. And we'll get this livey out there, eh? So my little live is out there, I'm going to open the bail arm, I'm going to let him swim out into here. This is where your bigger fish are going to be because that's where all the tarpon are. So I'll just let him do his thing. He's just chilling at the moment now, he's picked the direction he wants to go, which is straight down apparently. Did something eat that already? No. Where's he going? <coughs> Where's he at? Over there. This size of swirl. Tanum and I were actually trying to catch a tarpon for live bait. The young fellow just had a big barrow chase. Oh, bow wave there. Big barrow just chases tiny that. little that tiny little three and a quarter inch pozo that's been chopped down. It's now like we might step back so. Something just ate him. Something was trying to eat that big tarpon. Something just ate him. It looks like it. Does something just ate your tarpon? Oh, I don't. Here we go. Big bait. Wait, 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 don't try. Yeah, I know. Let him get it down. So this is the way the bait runner works. No, it floats back up. Okay, no, I don't know if you can see or not, but that's my float heading across that way. Like it's out there. And I don't know if my tarpon's in the guts of a big fish or what. I just went to move the bait a second ago and it felt really heavy, like too heavy for the tarpon. So that barra has been swimming around for the last five minutes with that big tarpon in his mouth. <laughs> I just went to put a bit of pressure on it. And um, <laughs> he came up and shook his head and spat the tarpon. And I didn't strike. I didn't think that a tarpon actually, uh, that a barra actually had it. Oh, bait fishing so much fun. Oh, so this is um, a bit bigger, this tarp, and we're actually after smaller, but at the moment we'll take what we can get. Uh, this one wasn't coming off. We'll stick him under a... Alright, just caught a little bit better sized tarp in here for a livey. There's your old yeah. one. <laughs> I'm just going to go through the tail wrist, just under the skin. Like that, so that the hook can pull out quite easy. They swallow them head first. <clears throat> Open the bail arm. And I'm going to hand throw him because he's a big live bait. I'm going to hand throw him out there. And let him go. He's going be, the right way straight away. Be very nervous.
I heard it get eaten. Yeah. Has he got it down? To. I don't know. I'd strike because the float's not there anymore. Here he goes. Yup. <laughs> He's running at me. He's not a meter fish, but he's a good one. He's a buff, was awesome. Yeah. Oh, he's a good one, though. <laughs> yeah, he'd be 85 to 90. Yeah, 90. <laughs> He's got it down. Mm. I got it. Oh, you're, you're right. Yeah. Just watch that little thing fly out. God, how good a nick is. No, it's in his lip. Yeah. That's a nice, healthy fish, eh? Mm. Yellow. Like... How cool is that? Yeah. You got a mark on him. You got a couple of scars on him. Don't be looking at me like that. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be like that. Come on. Hey, come on. You got a mark. Something's grabbed him. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Look up here. It could be a dog, too. Hey, hey. He's gonna eat it. What is it? You know what? That was a bit like it wasn't a small fish. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a bit of a flick in the creek here while we're waiting for this tide to come in, and then we're gonna charge out through the front here. We've never launched out of here before, so we uh, we want to be able to see what we're doing on the way out. We want to be able to pick the channel and all that sort of stuff, so we're gonna have a little bit of a flick for Jackson Barrows along here. Do you wanna get him out? I don't know about that, is he? Yeah. I've just got the drag back off. Oh, okay. He's not baby, but nah. he's not big either. No, nah, he'd be just legal size, probably. Bigger cool. than the one I actually got on here. It melts you. He'd be legal. I reckon he'd be very close to legal. Look. Yeah, 34 centimetres, so one centimetre. We wouldn't keep him at that anyway. He's got to be a fair bit over legal for us to, to kill a jack. It's a snappy one. But yeah. Hey. Mm. Cool. Five minutes in. Oh, bow wave coming straight down the middle here. Look, at, look, look, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it jack? Really? Yeah. That'd be that jack that followed me. Yeah. Oh, the colours on him. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, one of those motley ones. He's a photo fish. Even though he's tiny. Nah, I can't believe 
no photos of small fish. Okay. And normally when I'm throwing little poppers like this, I'll do it on either a longer, softer bait caster rod or a spin rod. But we didn't bring, we sort of limited what we brought with us because we weren't going to be doing that much creek stuff. It was going to be doing just a little bit of creek stuff until we get a chance to get out. No. They're following it out a long way. He's same as Motley. Turn this off. So this is one of the um, Bass Day, ooh, what do they call them? Uh, backfire. Backfire, yeah, Bass Day Backfire. One of my favourite little poppers. Good colour too, I love this colour. Pause this for a second. Um, uh, well, I'll get yeah. this one out real yeah, quick. Yeah, yours is easier. There we go. Top. Bunch of big mullet. Is it? Yeah, see? Yep. We uh, Not anymore. Something just ate them. Oh, that's a GT or something. Or a big jack. Could be a big jack, I suppose. They, they were big mullet. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? What was that? Oh, is it? Yeah. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I seen the bell over and I was like, oh, I should say something. <laughs> Oh, there's a bow wave there. Something just got eaten over there. Pulled the one out of his head. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. It got blown up. That was a big jack. He just blew that mullet right up on the bank. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Jack. He came from under that log. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. Oh! Look at that. You're going to be another one just under legal. Who's going to pause that, buddy? They're a pretty handsome sort of a fish, aren't they? Well, good little pop of these, eh? Do you want to lift the electric? <laughs> okay, so come to a mate of mine to give me a couple of marks and uh, it's about that seven seven and a half eight meters deep it's low tide dead set low tide at the moment so I'm just gonna go for the first cast now see what's about Bullfed's having trouble with tangled lines and all the rest of it so he'll get his stuff together shortly and we'll see what's poking about the bottom looks pretty good there's a bit of Shoaly, rubbly, reefy stuff here, so. Little sand bass. Relative of the Barramundi family. Oh, open your mouth to let it go. What you got? Nanny. Nanny, okay. Good nanny. Yeah, even probably be legal, that one, eh? Yeah. Oh, it'd be close, anyway. That's my biggest ever nanny. <laughs> Uh, Bullfed's just one, one of the um, jig paras, down 50 gram jig para, and he's just jigging it on this ledge here. And uh, he's come up with a nanny, oh, come up with a nanny, so it was cottish. It is. Hoi! Ow. Yeah. Pretty fish there. Hmm. Wow, I think it, it does look up. Oh, sweet. Oh, <laughs> this, oh, that's me prong. Yeah. Another nanny. Yeah, still not quite legal, eh? Maybe about 36. Yeah. Oh. I like the jig. Mmm. 
Yeah. Oh. On the way down. Feel for what we want. What the hell? Oh, big grassy. Beautiful. One of my favourite eating fish too. Good grassy. That's on the on the cord <coughs> corn coloured prong. The uh, pumpkin with red flecked it's called. Uh, oh well. Dinner's taken care of, the rest is fun. He's got me around something. He's out. Get that net ready, buddy. Feels like a big grassy or something. Mm. Yeah. Cracker. Oh. That's a cracking grassy. Hey, look at them. They're good grassies, mate. What are you doing? I'm just trying to sit like that. I smashed my fingers on, the, on this thing. Mm. Oh. oh, you got me in something. He's out. I think they have mixed emotions. Mm. Got me in something. Oh, I know. That ready? Feels like another good grass, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what was that behind us? Big come up. Yep, an even bigger grassy. Oh the hell. Thanks mate. These are these are good solid thick grassies, these are really, really good chewing. But they fight like anything. There's not many things that fight harder pound for pound than these things, so these are going home for a feed, these ones. So what we're doing here is I've got well both got half ounce heads on. What do you got? Oh, that's right. He's doing a small lure thing. I've got a half ounce head with a four inch atomic prong in the pumpkin with red fleck reflective sparkle through it. That's what we've been catching most of the fish on. And we're just sort of moving around, finding lumps on the sounder and that sort of stuff. And then when you see something that looks appealing, pull up. Let the lure hit the bottom, cast out, let the lure hit the bottom, and just giving it a couple of quick hops up off the bottom like that. Alright, Wolfhead's on a little cod or something. Oh, the tiniest cod ever. And that, that's, when you're using little lures out here, the that's... The lure is the same size. Yeah, right? I know. But um, you're trying to sort of not lift it up too far off yeah. the bottom for these things. You're trying to keep it as close to the bottom as you can, yeah. Because the water's got a little bit of colour in it. The rod I'm using is the 10 to 16 pound. Atomic arrows in the 6 foot, which is a B, what do they call it, an AAS 6OM. So that's, oh, there's a little pick pick. You do get a lot of small fish doing this sort of stuff, but then you get them big ones that sort of wake you up, shock you back into reality. You get all sorts of weird stuff doing that. We're just, we're just moving around on this shoaly stuff we found. We're just moving around on the electric and we'll find a few fish in a little bit of rougher territory and we'll flick it and then we'll move on if there's nothing there. But this particular spot we just pulled up, we've both got really good thumping hits and we're just having trouble hooking them at the moment, that's all. Try a piece. On, what you got? Looks coddish, a little bit. Doesn't feel like a trevally. He feels like another big grass. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, big grass. No. It's a nice grass. It's not a big one. Cool. All right. We threw, we threw it. It's legal, but we'll, we'll throw him back. Bullfed just missed a nice one too. So we've come back into six meters of water. So. 
Should be nearly top of the tide shortly actually. <coughs> so we'll have a little bit of a bite. Yeah. Yep. Have a bit of a play here and see what's about. Doing the same thing, just hopping four inch prongs along the bottom, little oh, little prawn imitations. Ain't no monster. Not as big as the other ones. On? No. Because we don't have massive tides at the moment, we've got <coughs> this half ounce head's pretty versatile. We can fish it from sort of that six metres down to that 10 metres where we were before, because all it means is it just takes a little bit longer for the lure to sink. You're not having to combat heaps of current and tide flow and all that sort of stuff. So we're just, uh, we're just using half ounce, oh, half ounce four. That feels different, that's a cot or something, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, half ounce with a 4 hook in it. As always, got that powder coat on the... On the the bullfed's turned out to be a cod. Oh! Yeah, he's turned out to be a, a legal size cod, like if, you were, if you're eating cod. Be a legal size cod, but... The battery the battery ran out as he hooked it up. Hooked up, so hook it... As he hooked it up. As I hooked it up. Picking a lot of our... Um, Picking a lot of our lures down on the bottom, picking all the tentacles off them and the fins off them. So little smallmouth nannies. They can be oh, they can be a pain in the bum sometimes. They're just that thick you can't get past them to hook a decent fish. Not bad lunch. Mrs. got ready for us last night. A bit of leftovers. Thanks, babe. Hey. Oh, dropped him. Damn, that was a big one. Ah. Foosbar. Don't know what's going on here, but we're hooking big fish, but the hook's pulling out on them. They'd, one, of the, one of them felt like a big grassy, but the other one felt like a finger mark, so. I don't know. I don't know what they are. That's another cod or something. Um, oh, 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 oh. Big cod or something, is it? No, big cod, big flowery. <laughs> mm. Some people eat them. We're not gonna. Remember we kept one years and years ago? It was terrible. Tasted like bottom. <clears throat> Just drop him over, mate. Back in the net.